what is going on guys angel here welcome back to my cigar lounge man it is cold outside it has been a long time and i know guys i know i'm going to smoke five cigars in probably a one week span which is probably a normal for a lot of you guys but uh i have not smoked a cigar in about two and a half months i think i don't even remember the last time i smoked one i have to look back at the video but i'm so glad that you're here uh, you guys know how we go. I'm gonna try to get this one done pretty quick because I got a lot of things to get done today I'm literally just rendering a video processing video right now So I got about 40 minutes to get this out. This is a Ramon Boizo Genesis the project I know a lot of people don't even know what this is and this is one of those ones. This was sent to me by someone it was either by Daniel or uh, oh Man, how am I gonna forget the other guy's name? It was Daniel and one other person uh, but big shout out to them uh, for sending me this so i'm gonna get this one done pretty quick we're gonna cut it up i don't know the flavor notes or anything we're just gonna hop right in i'll look at the notes once i'm kind of into the cigar and um see if my uh profile is getting better or not so yeah alrighty so as you see i got my trusty golden v cut here all right i might do a little something different and do a heart shaped cut uh i saw somebody do this on like a davidoff channel i just want to try it out all right Man, I love, look at that. Look at that. Look at the angle on that thing, guys. Oh, it smells amazing. It smells like chocolate. It smells like dark chocolate. And little stints to it <laughs> it smells like dark chocolate with a little bit of stench to it so yeah we'll go ahead and do it one more time though I'm gonna do it this way now and try to get that uh, different shape to it oh wow it's perfect first time for everything I think I'm gonna go ahead and get a picture of this one just because uh, I haven't done this before alrighty so now y'all know how the lighter game goes with me and it seemed like every episode besides like the first two I've had problems lighting it so I left the Joker inside let's go ahead and light this thing all right let's go look look see see okay we got to go inside I'll be back yeah Woo, she piping hot, y'all. That foot smoke is crazy. Okay, I'm getting big chocolate vibes. Big chocolate vibes. I know it may look like it's super dark outside, by the way, but it is not, I promise you. It is only like 6 something. I think it's like, yeah, it's 621 right now. Um, it's just super, it just gets dark super early on the East Coast over here. And I'm pretty sure it's the same for West Coast too, but it gets dark at around like 430 over here, guys. No joke. All right, so the opening is pretty good. Like I said, I'm getting just coffee vibes, nothing else. And like I said, I'm going to look up a little bit more. Once we get a little bit deeper into it, if we get once we get to around the first third, I want to go ahead and look up some things and uh, I'll catch you guys in. Very smooth. Very smooth. Very smooth. That's all I can really say. It's very smooth. I like the. I definitely get chocolate vibe. I'm getting chocolate. Um. <sighs> That's all I'm really getting right now. It's just a really smooth flavor profile. It's not. It's not deep. It's not super rich right now but i imagine it's probably gonna ramp up i must say the cut on this thing really gives for a wide draw and i like open draws this might be a little too loose for me it's burning well though um there's a little bit of you know 
but it's not bad. It's burning really good. Uh, I would say the foot smoke on this one is horrible. Like, I'm just <laughs> trying to get this out by faith. The sticker is not super tight on there either. I'll probably take it off later, but we'll just let it be for right now. Overall, like I said, it's pretty good. Right now, the notes that I'm mainly getting... Yeah, earthy, but still cocoa. Earthy and cocoa right now. It smells a little sweet, though. Like, I smell it right now, it smells sweet. But then that foot smoke gets right in my face, and then I'm like, all right, it's not all good. All right, we'll talk to you all in the second third. So we'll go ahead and go over the notes. One thing that I do want to search really fast is what the last cigar I smoked. I know the last... Oh, you know what? It was on my birthday. That's what it was. It was a Monte Cristo. I think it was my eighth cigar. So this is my ninth cigar. We're not even at number 10 yet. I would have been at number 10 already, but this is my ninth cigar. Let's go ahead and look at the notes. So this is a Turo size. Medium and full body, Connecticut broadleaf wrapper, and um, the origin is from Honduras, Honduras. So roughly these run about maybe eight to ten dollars. Not expensive stick at all. Medium and full body. It looks like it's gonna be a heavy smoke, but it's really not. I don't really want to go off of the notes that people are saying anymore. I was watching a cigar obsession video. And I kind of get why he doesn't go off of that because you never know. It's a cigar. You may like it. You may not like it. And you just, it's all a learning experience the more you do it. So that's what I want everyone to understand out there. Best part that it's cold outside. There's some little animal over there. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I have no idea what it is. It's gone now. Um, but the best part is that it's cold outside and there's no bugs anymore. So I don't have to worry about that. But I do have to worry about me lighting this. Luckily, the burn is going pretty well. It is kind of lopsiding just a tad bit, but we'll keep an eye on it. I spoke way too soon. There was a moth out here. I said, what in the world? I'm talking about this moth is this big, y'all. Um, we might have to turn the camera the other way. But... <laughs> Yeah, overall, like I said, the draw is really nice. I'm still in the first third. Really nice cigar, though, guys. Like, I definitely am getting pepper vibes now. The pepper is coming in a little bit more. And I did breathe through my nose by accident. Bad move. This is way too peppery to be doing that. So, yeah. All right, so one thing I really learned is I'm glad that I got this camera, honestly, because if I hadn't had this camera, it would have been really hard for me to do this video at night. Doing video on a cell phone at night just is not the moves. Um, I did move a little bit that way those moths can have it over there. Uh, we're coming in the second, third now. Super, super creamy. Very, it's sweet. It's very creamy. Getting still that cocoa vibe, really coffee type of notes. It's still giving cocoa, light pepper. It's a really good cigar, guys. I gotta admit, it's really good. Um, it's not top ones, but it's up there. I'd say it may be top five. I do remember the Perdomo being amazing. That was still one of the best cigars I had. Y'all already know Don Carlos is still number one. Nobody's claimed that spot yet. Um, I know something will in the future though, but I've got about five more cigars left. I gotta get this content out. Uh, before the end of the year that's kind of the goal for me and next year we're going to be starting a whole new wave of stuff so i do want to live up to my promise and try to smoke every cigar then after that like i said it'll be kind of just sporadic videos every every once in a while so please subscribe i'd love to have you here i'd love to be i'd love for you to be on the journey even though this journey will be coming to an end soon it's not going to be ending forever don't think it's going to end forever i'm going to be smoking one maybe like still at least twice a year you know how i'll be doing it mainly for like celebrations or just when i feel like it you know yeah i'm starting to get coffee now and it's giving me that coffee that i like it's not the what's the word for it it's not the coffee like uh you know when you open up a bag of coffee that's what that tastes like and it's amazing right now so it's really good i'll talk to y'all in the final third though the ash just fell off about two minutes ago honestly uh, it had went out the cold went out because it got too cold It's honestly starting to get really cold out here And I'm probably gonna cut this video a little bit short just because of that because I am not about to be out here It's like it feels like it's 40 something. It says it's 63 right now 
there is no way it's 63 degrees out here it feels like it is 40 degrees right now it's cold but yes the flavors it is in the goldilocks hour right now it is smooth creamy still this it's being very consistent nothing's really changed it's just smooth creamy you get that coffee note with a nice uh little bit of pepper the pepper's honestly getting out of here but it still comes back in the after right in the throat um very good cigar though i will this is up here it's it's probably in like the top top six i don't know it's probably top five honestly it's probably top five the one thing i hate about this cigar is the foot smoke it smells horrible and it keeps blowing right in my face because the wind is blowing this way and then if I go that way then the wind decides it wants to blow that way <laughs> like I said it's it's not a bad cigar at all I highly recommend you guys check this one out it might be hard to find this one though I don't know it might be a little hard to find it uh, I did want to go over it is it's it's a little toothy I didn't go over that earlier it is toothy it doesn't have big veins but they are noticeable it's more toothy than it is veiny um, I'm probably gonna conclude the video here I hope you guys did enjoy the video and like i said there is plenty more videos coming so be sure to hit that subscribe button but thank you all so much for rocking with me i hope you guys did enjoy the video and until next time peace out